warahmatullahi ta'ala wabarakatuh and have a very good day. So today, I'm going to share about the basic understanding on infrastructure design for construction works or construction site or construction project. Okay, today I'm going to focus on sewerage design. So this sewerage is to transmit the wastewater or wastage from your toilet or any grey water to in order to accumulate it okay in the sewerage treatment plant or in the septic tank okay so for today we are going to go through on how we can understand the basic understanding on sewerage design before in the next video i will give an example or procedure how to do a sewerage design calculation here are the outcome that you should be able okay to understand the first one you should be able to propose the sewerage layout plan for the project and you should be able to understand the theory on design sewer system. You should be able to understand procedure of sewer design. And also, you should be able to understand of the standard and code of practice applied in the sewer design. So, most of the code of practice is available in, our, in the website provided by IWK. So we have to follow the SPAN guideline and also IWK guideline. So in order for us to design the sewerage, okay? Here are the introduction. The first one, or uh, here are the lesson content of my video for sewerage design. The first one is on introduction. Second one is the design criteria. The third one is design procedure. The fourth one is sewerage detail drawing, what we need to attached in our design report and then the last one is sewerage design report here sewerage system for it to be efficient must have the ability to transport the sewage effectively so we have to make sure that the pipe or the system that we provide in order to transmit the sewage should be able uh, to transmit from the first main hole to the next main hole until the septic tank or sewerage treatment plant. So we have to make sure that it will provide the right types of uh, pipe, the right types of the material of the pipe that we are going to use, the depth, the uh, slope, and then, and then the, the discharge uh, flow rate and so on. So we have to make sure that this kinds of parameters should be provided correctly in order for us to make sure that it is efficient system. So it classified based on the types of face water flowing in the pipe. The first one is a sanitary sewer. What is a sanitary sewer? Sanitary sewer is carry only the water from the residential, commercial and industrial with the storm water excluded. So for example, it come from our uh, kitchen or from our toilet okay and then top water sewer it carries the water coming from roof paved areas pavement and road that is a storm water sewer and then the combined sewer is a sanitary sewer plus with the storm water sewer so we may separate it into two different types of sewer but in this uh lesson so we will learn how to design a storm water a sanitary sewer so which means from the residential and also commercial okay for the this the wastage that is come from the toilet okay from the uh from the kitchen and so on okay okay design should be in accordance with malaysian standard 191228 and 1991 code of practice for design on and installation of the sewerage system. So we will go through on what is the content of Malaysian standard 1228 and 1991. And that is a design to discharge the wastewater flow as required. So we have to make sure that the wastewater flow, okay, is flowing uh, correctly with a right gradient and also a right flow rate. Then sewerage treatment plan, if we need the sewerage treatment plan. So how are we going to provide either that area we need a sewerage treatment plan or only a septic tank? Okay, 
convert the sewage into a form which can be safely discharged to the environment or reused for various compatible purposes. So effluent discharge must meet the standard A and standard B. So we will have a look what is a standard A, what is actually the standard B. Okay, we have a look on MS1228-1991. Okay, this is D. Okay, MS1228-1991. Okay, Code of Practice for Design and Installation of Sewage System. Section 1, we have a look on the general requirement. What are the content on the general requirement? So, it is stated... Okay, mainly what are the material that we it is suitable or what we are going to use uh, in the sewer system. Okay, for the uh, for the bed of the sewer pipe and so on. Okay, for example, on the aggregate cement, cement mortar, brick, concrete. Okay, this is the design flow and organic loading. What is it uh, mean? So what are the parameters that we are going to determine at? For example, it's average design flow, design organic loading, so estimation of the sewerage flow, okay, infiltration, okay, peak flow, and so on, okay. So here are the PE, which is the uh, population equivalent, okay. And then this is what uh, we need to consider in a design sewer, okay, on the structural element, okay. So, uh Okay, here are uh, the depth of the sewer system that we have to follow, which is the main hole. Okay, so I will uh, show to you also the specific standard uh, that has been uh, improved later. Okay, so in uh, in our in our lecture, so which is uh, normally it already specific. This is a bit general. So the other one is specific for uh, less than ten thousand pe. So we, we will have a look on that matter. So you may read this, okay, general requirement for the standard that we need to understand how to design the uh, sewer system. So you have to read one by one so that you will not miss out the necessary thing that we have to consider in order for us to design the sewer system, okay? Okay, like this table, okay, uh, it shows the detention period, okay, design criteria for the aerated lagoon. So, this is actually for the STP and so on. So, or, uh, or the, the collecting system for all those wastage, how we're going to design. So, but in our lecture or in our class, okay, so we only uh, learn how to design the sewerage uh sewerage line before we transmit all this the the sewer uh, all the wastage to the stp or the uh, septic tank or the uh, existing uh existing uh what we call existing plan okay so you may read from this standard okay According to the Malaysian standard for effluent uh, sewer discharge, standard A is applicable to discharge into any water within any catchment area. So it means that uh, we can, okay, uh, we can discharge our effluent to these kinds of area. So for the standard B is applicable to discharge into any other inland water, so or Malaysian water, for example, to the river, okay, to the sea. Uh, to the uh, what we call wetland and so on. Okay, what are the design criteria? The design criteria, the first one is the pipe size. So how are we going to determine the pipe size? The diameter of the pipe is chosen based on the availability of the size provided. So what are the provided in the market? So when you like to design, you have to make sure that the size of the pipe should be starting from the smallest one. So not so so that we you will not uh provide the excessive size or the bigger size and it become an over design and we, it will increase the cost of the project okay so try to the minimum one first and then you have to check the condition either it fulfill the uh, 
the the check or not so if it is in between the value for uh, the discharge value or the flow value is in between okay uh, the requirement so you may use that if not you may increase to another size normally it start with two to five millimeter okay so it's also based on uh, how uh, what is the minimum depth of the main hole and then lateral sewer is the minimum of 150 millimeter diameter so receive the channel sewage from individual building to another branch sewer or directly to an on uh, site treatment plan so it means that it's only a single building like your own house so you may use a smaller size of the uh, sewerage pipe so means that from the individual house so we call as a lateral sewer so you may use uh, the smaller size so when i talk about the minimum size two to five millimeter is for the uh one uh, the whole area of the project for example the residential area or taman perumahan so the minimum is two to five but for the individual house normally we will use a uh, 150 millimeter as the minimum diameter okay so reticulation sewer uh, this is what i said two to five millimeter to 300 millimeter okay receive the channel sewage collected from the group of individual properties to the branch sewer okay so it means that it will connect it to the uh, as i said either is standard a or standard b so we can have uh the this the effluent to discharge to the stp and so on and then main sewer trunk outfall sewer so main sewer is actually uh for the whole uh, normally after okay we discharge from the reticulation sewer to the main sewer main sewer is actually for the whole area uh of the the town for example so it called as a main sewer okay so 400 millimeter to about 900 millimeter diameter is much more bigger receive sewer from branch sewer and transfer flow to large sewerage treatment plan and then what is a branch sewer so it's the size diameter is 300 millimeter to 400 millimeter diameter and receive the sewage from reticulation sewer and thereafter transfer the flow small sewage treatment plan to the main sewer the depth of the sewer minimum is 1.2 meter below the ground surface so normally it's from the uh road level so because the location of this uh, sewer pipe is normally on the road okay uh, on the reserve of reserve of the road okay uh, velocity is minimum is 0 0.8 so if you get the velocity is more than 0 0.8 uh, and then less than 4 meter per second then it's okay okay so that is the it shows the minimum is 0 0.8 the maximum is 4 the slope is minimum is it can be 1 to 200 or 1 to 25 so means that 1 to 200 much more uh we call much more uh 1 to 25 is much more steeper compared to 1 to 100 okay so sometimes okay if that area is not a flat area we can uh use the bigger uh, value for your n which is your slope so one to 100 normally okay so if it is a really uh at the rolling terrain so for example we can use a one to 200 so if at the flat area sometimes we need a much more steeper gradient so design should be allowed easy access for inspection and cleaning for the pipe made from durable structure cause minimum interference to the sewage flow minimum of 1.2 meter in the depth from the ground level which is depth of your main hole okay main hole minimum 1.2 meter at least at 100 meter apart so uh, 100 meter apart of each other for easy to maintain gradient from 1 to 40 to 1 to 110 we should be used to give normally give adequate flow velocity so uh, the maximum okay span or length between one main hole to another main hole should be okay 100 meter so it should be less than that the location are suited at the end of the line uh, intersection of the sewer change in gradient and alignment except in the curve sewer that is the location of the main hole okay so this is the criteria for the main hole so if we have a drop so we, we may put the main hole to start a new pipeline okay 
So the minimum diameter of the manhole constructed from the precast concrete. So which is this is as a sample. So uh, another thing is about the pipe uh, type. So I will show you in a later uh, standard. So what are the types of the sewerage pipe that we have? And then for the drop manhole, how are we going to provide the drop manhole? So install to reduce the turbulence in the manhole caused by the elevation differences. Other than that, we have to make sure that the uh, depth, okay, from the ground level is 1.2 meters. So if it's less than that, we have to put a drop first for the main hole, and then we will start a new line so that the new uh, inlet for the new line should be at least 1.2 meter. So if the difference between the incoming sewer and main hole inlet is more than 500 meter, so we also have to put a drop main hole, okay. 500 millimeter is about 50 centimeter so half meter okay so if the difference between the incoming sewer is less than 600 millimeter and then invert shall be fill, uh, filleted at the corner to prevent solid deposition uh, another thing is uh, we have to put sometimes a main hole at the corner okay okay this is an example another example okay from the technical standard of sewer system less than 10,000 pe Okay, population equivalent. So how we provide the depth. So if it is less than uh, 6 meter depth, okay, or 6 to 9 meter depth, okay. So uh, you may choose uh, the pipe size that is connected into the main hole. So here are the other standard, okay, that we can refer. So which is actually the content is almost same what we have done before. So this is the revision 5 uh, for 2000 uh, from 2019 okay so uh, this is a guideline from the span and okay, Suranjaya Perkhidmatan Air Negara okay so the content here so they have a general content on how we're going to design our sewer okay for example here is the design of the sewer network what are the general requirement that we have to fulfill and then here are the for the pipe design so for the pipe design, we have a few type pipe design, okay, type of pipe or either it is a VC, RC, PRC or ductile ion, okay. And then the, the advantages and disadvantages, uh, and then, okay, we have a few type. The first one is a verified clay. So what are the conditions that we can uh, apply this type of pipe is explaining is explained here. So for the RC pipe, okay, for the ductile ion, glass, reinforced plastic, high density, uh, polyethylene, and then modified PVC. Okay, and then here is the design of gravity sewer network. So design criteria, what are the need? And then this is the roughness coefficient. Okay, this is a Manning equation. Normally, in my case, I use a Manning equation, okay, in the, to determine the velocity. So we have to refer to this one. Okay. Or you may also use an hazen william equation. So this is an hydraulic uh, calculation that you have learned in hydraulic subject. Okay. So here are the design criteria for the main hole. Main hole. So this is the table that I refer. Okay. Uh, this is the marine outfall if we discharge uh, to the marine or sea. So what are the condition that we have to considered okay uh, the criteria that we have to consider and the impact that we have to know okay and then the design of network pumping system if we use a pumping system if not just ignore this part okay so you may read from this uh, guideline in order for you to understand how it differ from a uh, different types of uh, effluence and different types of uh, what we call pipe system so what are the suitable type and material that we have to use in order for us to design our sewerage system. So here is also stated uh, at the last part, okay, the basic hydraulic calculation, okay, that we have to know, okay, here it design flow estimation for the PE, average flow, peak flow infiltration, okay, and this is the table, okay, to determine the PE, so if different types of project or purpose of the building, function of the building, have its different PE. Okay, this is the design procedure. So the first one, we have to do the network sewer planning. Second, the sewerage layout plan. 
and then determine of the population equivalent, determine of the pit flow discharge type and size of pipe, determine of the velocity, and then determine the invert level and outlet level of the uh, vein hole. Okay. Okay, so how uh, the first one is network sewerage planning. So we have to check the general requirement based on MS. 1228-1991, section 4.3.2, several factors must be considered in the planning. So, uh, the first one is the sewerage pipe must be located in the surrounding area of the road. The pipe to be located in private property due to the certain topography must apply for permission to certain individual before the construction can begin. So, it means that this uh, network of the sewerage planning should be in between our project boundaries. So, if we would like to connect to the a public uh, sewer system. So we have to apply from a local authority. For example, in Malaysia, we have to uh, apply in the uh, apply with IWK. So in my next lecture, so I will show you how we going to do a submission so that we can get approval for this uh, sewerage design. And then before any construction work can begin, the layout and overall existing building pipe and electrical must be first to be determined. During the construction work, the separation of sewer and main water should be required of minimal horizontal separation of 3 meter and minimum vertical separation of 46 centimeter from the main water, uh, water main. So it means that uh, the separation, the separation uh, of the pipe system. So it means that if we have a water supply pipe, and then for the water reticulation, for the water that we supply to our kitchen, our toilet, okay, uh, for our showers, for daily routine, we should separate it uh, to the sewerage uh, network. So this is the minimum requirement. In terms of the separation, minimum horizontal is 3 meter and then minimum vertical separation is uh, 40, 460 millimeter. So vertical is actually the height, okay, for uh, normally the... Normally, okay, for the sewerage, it's much more deeper compared to the water supply, okay? So, you have to understand that. Layout plan, the system must be drawn to show the location of the pipe and so on. The process involved of preparing the sewerage layout plan to show the flow of the sewerage, position of the network, size, pipe, and position of the main hole. Sewer follow natural drainage wave to minimize excavation and pumping requirement so that we have to check really, really carefully on the uh, slope or the necessary gradient for the sewerage pipe. So large trunk sewer are usually constructed in low lying area closely, parallel ring stream or ch channels. In general, pipe should cross contour at the right angle. Okay. And then located part, place for easy connection for further user. So uh, if we would like to extend the pipe, so it should be located at the uh, easier place for us to access and then provide access for the maintenance. So we, we provide for the main hole and then accomplish by placing them in the street or other right of way. So we didn't put underneath of the building because it's quite easy for us to access that's why we put in uh, the sewerage line normally on the uh, uh, on the street or reserve area uh, nearby the street. Okay, and then you will see the rounded uh, cover uh, put, and then there is marked with IWK. Okay, so here are the example uh, that I got from the online. So how we prepare the uh, layout plan. Okay, so it's almost same as a drainage except the location is different. Okay, so if we have a look here, so the location of this main hole, okay, is located on the street. So if for the drainage, it's located really nearby to the building here. And then we have an individual discharge here, part to the uh, connecting this sewerage. So this is the things that we're going to design. So M2 23, okay, M14, M15, okay, M16, M17, 18, 19, 3, until it's connected to the uh, discharge uh, discharge uh, septic tank. Okay, so we will 
know how to flow this normally we will locate it from the upper stream to the lower stream okay so that we will not provide a very steep gradient so if you don't understand uh, how to prepare this you may ask me later okay so this is the overall this is the main okay the main sewer record uh, which is at the town area so we will know either if we would like to to discharge to the sewer treatment plan that is provided for the area or they have their own stp or we will would like to provide uh to the main uh, sewerage system of that town so that it will discharge to the sewerage treatment plan the main sewerage treatment plan that provided by iwk okay so in my case here so in this example this is the site so from this side so it connected with the public sewerage system that yeah uh, that will discharge to the main uh, sewerage treatment plan so this is an example how we prepare uh, the the final product of this uh, sewage design. So we will provide the information at every main hole in terms of the it depth, invert level, and numbers of the uh, main hole, main hole one, two, three, and so on. So here we will provide the length of the main hole and also types or diameter of the pipe. So, on the population equivalent, now is expressing the ratio of the sum of the pollution uh, load produced during 24 hours by industrial facilities and services to the individual pollution load in household sewage produced by one person in the same time. Parameter used to convert the numbers of persons contributing to volumetric flow rate of waste. So, flow rate are measured in cubic meter per second calculated for both existing land use uh, and for expected future development. So you have to calculate the total population equivalent for that building. So if we have, for example, three or five buildings in one project, so we have to calculate individual for block A, block B, block C and block D, how much the total po population equivalent. Then it will uh, reflect the design of the sewerage network okay this is the table that we can refer in order for us to know uh, how we calculate uh, individual pe so for example if it is residential we assume uh, five pe per house so it means that a uh, five population equivalent per house so for example in that project we have 100 so 100 uh, houses so 100 times five we, we it will equal to uh, 500 population equivalent so we will decide based on 500 population equivalent so we will have to know what are the suitable type of pipe and then how we're going to discharge the effluent from our sewer system this is how we calculate the population equivalent so the further explanation i will explain on my next video how to calculate the population equivalent by using the spreadsheet and also the basic form, uh, I will show an individual calculation and then I will explain on this uh, how we can tabulate the data in order for us to design the sewer system. Okay. So this is another parameter that we have to calculate, which is the peak flow, average uh, flow rate, wastewater flow rate, QW, and also the peak flow. Okay. So this is another thing, okay, pipe area is pi r squared, perimeter of the pipe, which is 2 pi r, and hydraulic radius is area over perimeter, and then QD is allowable pipe discharge should be bigger than our peak flow. So in this case, uh, sometimes we can use a many equation or Hagen's william or any types of equation that you're going to use in order for you to calculate the pipe discharge. So this is the Banning equation, okay? So uh, normally I'm using the Banning equation, okay? So what is the coefficient that is provided for different types of pipe? Either it is a new pipe condition or old pipe condition, okay? So if it is a new pipe condition, so that is the value for the old pipe condition, the Banning coefficient is much more higher compared is already. Uh, 
it is is already used okay so this is how to calculate the velocity we have to make sure that the velocity for the pipe flow should be in between 0 0.8 and 4 meter per second okay so next is the invert level and the outlet level okay from the one main hole to another main hole so main hole level find by the ground surface elevation so uh, means that if uh, the surface the surface elevation normally we take from the road level okay fall in sewer if if it is located on the road so if it's located at the reserve uh reserve uh, land so we have to know the ground level uh, or the earth level for that final uh, level for the uh, project okay fall in sewer is upper elevation minus the lower end elevation sewer invert is lower end is equal to ground surface elevation minus with fall in sewer okay that is the invert so however if ground surface gradient is not suitable new pipe gradient can be proposed so for example if we would like to provide the whole project is one to 200 uh, so but there is a, some cases at the pipe uh, uh, for example at the connection between main hole 5 and main hole 6 so the gradient is not suitable because of the minimum that 1.2 meter is not meet the requirement so we may uh, change the gradient in order to make sure that uh, it will fulfill the requirement of the minimum depth from the ground level and also uh, the 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 what we call this the wastage can be flow in the pipe so fall in sewer is equal to slope time with the lower end elevation sewer invert is equal to ground surface elevation uh, minus cover of the pipe minus with diameter of the pipe so here are the check that we have to do so in order for us to make sure that all those three condition is fulfilled the requirements so that our design will be passed so i think that's it for our introduction on sewerage design so on my next video i will show show to you how to uh, do a design calculation so and also the spreadsheet that i use in order for me okay to calculate or design for the sewerage network so i hope that you have an, a very good view in order for you to design one of the elements in infrastructure, which is sewerage uh, network design. So that's it for today. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.